2022 Nissan Terra, first drive impressions. Finally, a Terra with a great interior. Nissan hit the ball out of the park with the new Terra. There is no shortage of improvements over the previous generation, and we can finally say that the Terra is everything that you can expect from the midsize SUV segment for the price that it commands, at least at first drive. We'll go a little further and explain just how good the new Terra was in our short drive with it. These are our first impressions of the 2022 Nissan Terra and its VL4X4 trim in the Philippines. Exterior. While we were fans of the Terra's exterior design even prior to this update, the new model is still just as appealing as the one it replaces. The exterior looks like some of the models that you can find in the American Nissan lineup. The Terra's front end is probably the most striking change of them all, with a slightly more rounded headlight assembly in contrast to the rather edgy look that we got in the outgoing iteration. Meanwhile, the rear looks more refined over its predecessor, opting for sleekness rather than outright muscle. The SUV shapes up nicely the minute you walk up to it. It's not totally like the old Terra, but it is distinctly Nissan. Perhaps one of our gripes with it would be the rear garnish that doesn't cut through the Terra badging at the back, but rather, it goes up and over, which kinda looks tacky in our opinion, but we're nitpicking. Other than that, it gets functional points like an all-LED lighting system with fog lamps included. The output of these units is plenty bright at night, and its DRLs are amply visible under intense sunlight. Interior Remember when the Terra first launched a couple of years ago? We said that it had one of the worst interiors in its segment. Following the reception of the SUV, Nissan kept an ear to the ground and signed sealed and delivered to us a now amazing interior that is worthy of this segment. In the midsize SUV space, a luxurious and well-built interior is part of the price tag, and Nissan was behind the curve until this generation of Terra was launched. Not only are we getting a different dashboard compared to the Nissan Navara, but we're also getting an upshot in quality materials with leather being used profusely on almost all the surfaces of the cabin. There are even geometric patterns in the seats and colored leather. The unit loaned out to us prior to the launch had a red interior, and it worked paired with the rather muted exterior silver paint job. The contrast between the red leather and the black trim pieces makes it stand out from the rest of its rivals. However, if it's a little too flashy for you, Nissan also offers a more sedate palette of interior colors.